Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Poetry Slam as part of the Ikna Da'wa Conference. Uh, my name is Kashmir Merim and I am one of your hosts for this evening. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get into talking about the actual Poetry Slam and introducing our poets on uh, the virtual platform, alhamdulillah. So I am also a spoken word poet myself. Um, Previously, I performed in a lot of poetry slams and I enjoy performance, but more importantly, I enjoy listening to um, other poets perform. And so I'm really excited for today, uh, inshallah. And um, yeah, and I'm also an author. I have written two books. One is a collection of poetry and the other is uh, a more recent book called The Muslim Woman's Manifesto. It's kind of like a self-help book, but for Muslim women, uh, I specifically tailored it to talking about spiritual issues that we go through. It's very relevant to da'wah and the kinds of things that we are going through in these times of confusion. Um, and yeah, and so uh, that's pretty much my introduction. And I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, who, who also happens to be my sister. Um, and she's also the founder, and we are the co-founders together of a movement called The Strangers. Um, so I'll pass the book over to you, Aisha, and you can um, introduce yourself and also what The Strangers as a project does. Jazak, uh, Jazak sister. Um, so The Strangers is basically an organization. Um, our aim is to clear up misconceptions, revive the message of Islam, and we threw this through um, different means. The main means is through spoken word. Um, we also do other things where, for example, um, you know, uh, writing projects, freedom right projects, um, the Uyghur campaign, etc. If you are interested in finding out more about The Strangers Do, inshallah, all you need to do is go onto our website, which is the strangers, um, the strangers poets dot info. It's very easy. Hopefully you'll be able to get it and um, we will say it again during the session, inshallah. Um, as for myself, I am Aisha and um, my information is on the website as well. And Kashmir Miriam is my sister. I'm really looking forward to this, inshallah. And um, we're going to pass it back on to Kashmir and she's going to go through um, basically uh, the rules and everything. And then the next step, the, the step we've all been waiting for, the poets, inshallah. Yeah, thank you for that, Aisha. So uh, we're going to jump right into the rules, ground rules for the poets and also the judging criteria for us as the judges this time around. Um, because last time, alhamdulillah, we had a huge lineup and we were very ambitious. We tried to get everyone on, but we went very over time. Um, so this time around, we want to be very strict with our timing and we want to make sure that all our poets have an opportunity to um, come on. And obviously, this is a virtual platform, so we have to... Um, make sure that everything is done in a timely way and we don't have any uh, technical issues, inshallah. So um, we pray that it goes smoothly. Please make a dua for us and also be very supportive throughout all of the poems and, um, you know, as we smoothly move through and transition through all of our performers. Um, so, okay, rules. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Now, for all of the performers who are lined up and who are listening, the rules they have they're already very aware of uh, but for our audience it's pretty simple it's just each performer has up to three minutes for their poem um we let them know when to begin it begins from the first word of their poem and we'll be timing that inshallah the second rule is that we ask that the content of the poem is relevant to the theme of this conference so it's a very general theme you know they have a lot of artistic freedom to talk about islam in a time of confusion you can talk about that way, you can talk about purpose, anything that you think is creatively relevant to the theme. Um, and we will be looking at that when we are, you know, uh, scoring each of our performers, inshallah. Um, and the third one is just a general rule that we just hope that all of our performers understand to be respectful to one another, to, to others who are listening, um, to understand that we may have um, young children uh, also watching who probably should be sleeping by now. Um, but just to keep the content very appropriate, no cursing and, you know, just uh, standard rules of being appropriate. Um, and finally, the judging criteria. So as we all know, every single time judging is probably the hardest thing. And if it were up to me and Aisha, we really wouldn't, we just absolutely try and shy away from the role of, ju of judging. Uh, but this time around, we thought it would be 
better for us to contribute to the judging panel just because it is a virtual platform and it's hard to have so many people and moving parts. Um, and we wanted to offer a fair chance to all of our poets without having necessarily like a ranking order. Um, and we also have opened up the platform. So we have young poets involved too. And that's really important to us because we're trying to have them creatively involved in very, uh, you know, mature and relevant discussions like that one because they offer such a powerful perspective in that. And I think that's important to have them involved. Um, so with that being said, we do ask that, um, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the judging criteria, you know, for this is a, a specific message tailored to the poet. So we ask that number one, that your content is relevant to the theme. That is a, a criteria that we will be looking at when judging. Um, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of freedom to talk about many things within that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, inshallah. The second thing we will be looking at is your performance and your delivery. Um, so the difference between slam poetry and written poetry, um, or even, uh, you know, like um, reading poetry is very different to, to the culture of performance. And, you know, the delivery, I think, is something that really enhances your poem and your content. It allows for the words that you're speaking or that you had written to connect with the hearts and the, the minds of the people that you are talking to. Um, so just to bear that in mind and to not have to worry about, you know, who, who's watching you and how many people might be seeing you, uh, but to just focus in like as if you're talking to someone in your room that might help you with your performance um, and just to engage with the words that you're saying. That is something that we'll be looking at, inshallah. And the final category that we will be judging on is the audience engagement. So now this is a message specifically for our listeners out there. If you like what you hear, if you have a line or, you know, a poet says a line that resonates with you, we ask that you share your support and your feedback in the comments section. That is something that we will be looking at. Um, it just shows us how much that poem has connected with you. Um, because, you know, as we know, poetry is very subjective. What might resonate with me might, res uh, you know, might not resonate with someone else, but a particular line might strike you in a way that it doesn't strike someone else. So, we do ask that you show your love, you show your support, and again, you'd be respectful in the comment section. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have the grand rule sorted. We have our judging criteria. Um, and just to let our performers know that if they do go over three minutes, you have a grace period of 10 seconds. So after that, we will have to, unfortunately, deduct points. Um, but I'm sure that from, you know, reviewing all of your content upon your, you know, submissions that you just, uh, that all of them should be within that time frame. Um, so without any further ado, we will be introducing. Can I, add, yeah. can I add one, yep. one couple of small things? So, um, as for the three minute grace period, um, now with the, I know that the performers, they might get a little bit nervous, um, but don't worry about it. Just do the best that you can do. If you go over, you go over God willing, you know, that should be fine. Um, and we will definitely, um, don't, it's not it's not the end of the world don't get nervous i can i can already feel the anxiety rising right now don't worry about it uh, that's to our performers now to our audience um now your role as the audience is crucial meaning that whatever you know you what whatever comments that you make whatever likes that you give to the performers um that's going to be heavily taken into account because as we said we don't have any external judges um from my sister and i so um you are also the judges so please 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 take that very seriously as well so the next person to go up is uh sister Taiba, all the way from india and uh, it's for judge time there as well so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count this as an act of worship i mean and uh please introduce yourself sister Taiba. assalamu alaikum and um Islam. let us know a little bit about yourself and your poem jazakallah khair uh i'm from india uh and my name is Taiba, and i'm of law school and it's morning here. Are you able to hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Yes, we can hear you. Jazakallah. So Sister right. Taiba, how how did you hear I'm just curious personally, how did you hear about this online poetry competition all the way from India? Oh it's actually Amul Kasir, you know, she shared on her Instagram about you guys, so I just um checked out your uh, profile. I think it was Kashmir Mariam, your profile. Oh, thank you. Okay, perfect. Jazakallah. The power of social media, right? 
subhanallah that you can connect all the way from the other side of the world alhamdulillah okay excellent so we are excited to hear your poem um and whenever you're ready you can begin inshallah all right so the title of my poem is open the doors and i'll begin every sort of detachment is acceptable to my heart as long as my journey is going to end at your doorstep open the doors al jabbar for you are the light of my fragile heart you are my strength and weakness you are the carrier of love and peace you are the most high and beloved to me open the doors al rahman my heart has dried due to lack of love my throat is aching i'm in need of of drop of your mercy you are my tears you are my sorrow to you i come for i have nowhere else to go open the doors of my lake you are brighter than the moon and your mercy deeper than the ocean i crawl to you in the sands of these deserts so the seeds of gardens in my heart so i can find my way open the doors of khalik open the doors of gafar open the doors of latif for i have nowhere else to go thank you that was beautiful jazakallah hai sister tayba it was a prayer subhanallah and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it and uh, kashmir amen allahumma amen yeah it was beautiful i think the depth in your words it almost reminds me of rumi in many ways i don't know if you re read a lot of rumi or if you were inspired by him um <laughs> but he obviously talks about like prayer and, and spirituality in a lot of his uh works but in a very simple way but with such layers and such depth underneath it you know and i think it, that that's the power of poetry that you can say one line and it appears to sound very simple but when you really look at it, it it's much deeper than that you know it's very layered and very powerful so thank you so much i i thoroughly enjoyed reading it and i think this is your first time performing on our platform and we hope that yeah. inshallah we hear much more of you even though you're all the way in india um and it was a blessing to hear from you and if you have any uh, social media that you share your poems and your quotes on um tell us a little bit about that uh it's only instagram i have my instagram page where i share my poets uh poems you can uh, tag me if that's possible yeah of course what is your instagram handle uh i can drop it in the whatsapp group later on yes perfect. perfect and inshallah we will try and do that um in the live comments too if you if you would like our listeners to hear inshallah or to read should i say um but yeah jazakallah khair and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam barik i think that was um truly deep felt poem from our sister taiba um and you know may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um accept it from her i mean and um there's a beautiful reminder as well for the rest of us um and a beautiful call to alhamdulillah should be going to be wrapping things up inshallah and the content and the relevance of all of the poems and just the diversity that we had in today's um performance set so jazakallah to everyone from the bottom of our heart as the strangers as your sisters in islam and as your fellow poets we know it's not easy coming on this platform and to share your work that's so personal to you but um we hope that our audience also enjoyed it we'd like to thank everyone we'd also like to thank ikna for hosting us on this platform um and for making this opportunity available to our youth to our to our whole umma and um we pray that above all everyone benefited from it inshallah and uh jazakallah khair aisha would you like to add any thing to that um yes subhanallah you know i did not expect um the schools to be so close together and it's very important to say it was literally by a decimal point and um subhanallah like it's you were every single one of our poets um your contribution it, you know this whole kind of uh, label of winner here winner there um my sister and i we do personally dislike it but the whole kind of uh, feel of competition it just has to unfortunately just requires that you know um but you all are winners and i'm not just saying that to sound cliche but it truly is um important that you know that that your your work and your words have made a difference to someone who is listening out there and we truly appreciate especially i'm calling all the way from india some of you 
other people I know that you had um, other engagements as well, but you made the effort to come here, be here, share your message, and it was a beautiful message. Jazakallah uh, so much. And uh, we really hope we can work with you in the future, inshallah, future projects. And um, stay well and stay blessed. Uh, I mean. I mean, okay, and with that, we will close today's session, inshallah. Uh, if you guys would like to check out more of our work, again, we will um, post more information on our website, and also you can check us out on our Instagram, The Strangers. And um, yeah, and alhamdulillah, today we finished on time. So, jazakallah uh, again for watching, to all of our performers, for Ikna for hosting, and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.